In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add audio dissolves to your sequence. Let's be better editors together. First, we'll start off with adding an audio dissolve. In your sequence, make sure you have an audio clip. I have a clip here. Just gonna zoom in so you better can see that there's an edit here. And I want to add a dissolve in between these two clips to make sure it sounds more smooth when playing over it. There's multiple ways of adding a audio dissolve in your Media Composer timeline. What you can do is you can go into your effect palette by going into the tools menu and then finding your effect palette here. Or you can of course use the shortcut, which is command eight or control eight if you're on a PC. Then you go into the fan that's called transitions. You find your dissolve, you drag it, and then you position your dissolve between the two clips like that. That's how easy it is. You made your first dissolve. Now you can see this icon that is indicating that it's a dissolve. Audio dissolve we put on like these ones as well. To customize your audio dissolve, if you want to make it shorter or move the entrance point, then you can go into effect mode. And here you can decide how long you want your transition to be, or if you want it to start at the end of the clip or at the beginning of the clip, or as we've done here, and what it will do as standard, center between the two clips. Once you made your changes, you can play back your clip and make sure it sounds the way you want it to. And that's it. That's how you add an audio dissolve to your sequence. But this is not the only way to add an audio dissolve. I can go back here, remove my audio dissolve by clicking on the remove effect and now it's gone. There's no right or wrong way to add an effect and there's at least eight different ways you can add your audio dissolve to your sequence but there's one which is the quickest one to use and I'll tell you which one in a few seconds. If you don't want to wait just jump straight to the timestamp. The first one we already been through where we go into the effect palette and drag and drop the dissolve down on the clips. And like I said, there's no right or wrong way to add an audio effect to your sequence, but the quickest is definitely just to hit the dissolve button on the keyboard and you get the quick transition window on your screen. If you want it center, just push the center and then hit enter or add. So that's how quick you can add an audio effect. You can even add multiple audio effects by setting an in and out point in your sequence. Let me just remove the audio effects first so you can see what happens. All right, so I have my in and out. I'll start by placing my playhead between the clips. Hit the dissolve button on the keyboard. And now I can decide how long it should be. And I can say apply to in and out. And if I already have an audio effect on there that I like, I'll just say skip to the other ones that are already on the sequence. Say add. And now it's complaining about that I have a clip that doesn't have any frame handles onto it. And I'll just say size to fit. Now it has added the solves to all my cut points in between my in and out. You can play it back, listen to it, see if you like. But it's done. Then go back and adjust it individually if you like. Now we added multiple effects on to our clips. And if there's a specific dissolve you really like and you wanted to reuse it multiple times, you can do this by going into effect mode. In effect mode, you'll see the audio dissolve. You can actually drag it straight on to a new point like that. Or if you know you're going to be going back to this specific effect multiple times, you can also drag it into your bin and then drag it on to whatever clip you need to add the audio dissolve to. There you go. You can use the dissolve button for more than just adding audio dissolves. It also works on video dissolves. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe and comment if you have any questions about this tutorial or any other tutorials and I'll help you out. Let's be better editors together.